and mm -hmm. am I, is this authentic? And why does he have a stethoscope around his neck? And does he even know what he's talking? Like it just a lot of like you, you doubt yourself. Um, so although I'm not, I'm a medical student, not a clinical psychologist, can you speak um, how you weren't um, doubting yourself or worried about the trolls in the sense that Jake referenced before? Well, I, I doubted myself all the way along and worried about the trolls all the way along. Um, and, you know, I was absolutely human about it. And um, a lot of the videos I couldn't even watch back, to be honest, because the troll was in here and going, oh, your voice or, mm -hmm. oh, you look awful or, you know, those sorts of things. Just you, we're all our own worst critics, aren't we? So um, a lot of them I would just have to kind of close one eye and press the button and, and see what happened. <laughs> um, <laughs> And, and so, you know, it, it, it's difficult. It's difficult to make yourself vulnerable. I think probably the two things that, that helped me to, to kind of be resilient along the way was something that I read in, it was actually a Brene Brown book where she quotes, um, I think it's Eleanor Roosevelt, uh, where she talks about the idea of, you know, if you're, you're in the ring and, and there's blood, sweat and tears and you're doing the work, the, the opinions of the people in the back row don't count because they're not in the ring doing the work. So, you know, often those kind of user 247, whatever, don't have any content, they're not producing anything, they're not making some, themselves vulnerable. Um, and so, you know, if you're not out there having a go, you know, maybe that, that criticism is not as valid as it would be if you were an experienced creator offering me something helpful. And I also um, think the fact that you use like maybe the tag like hashtag mental health hashtag psychology and that's on their for you page maybe they're suffering from mental health or those videos obviously are on their pages for a reason so who knows what's going on behind the screen right so the fact that they feel they need to express that um isn't a reflection on you it's maybe a an outlet um so yeah. it's been something that i've tried to look at it that way too absolutely and i think because that's the other that's the other part that helps me is is having compassion for people and and um, if they, uh, you know, if someone expresses sort of, you know, something abusive or, or, you know, just trolling, um, then I always have to bring myself back. You get the initial emotion and then I have to bring myself back to, um, things are not right. Something's not right there. And, and I, I wish them all the best. I hope that things get better for them. Mm -hmm. So having that compassion for this person you can't see and all, all you've got of that person is some sort of abusive language, um, is difficult but it's something that always helps me to just see past it and, and move on. Um, and also, you know, I try not to look too much into, the, you know, some people are lovely and really positive and, uh, you know, congratulatory. And I try also not to get too um, connected to that as well, because it doesn't change me. It doesn't make me any more worthwhile than anybody else. I'm just me. Um, and, it, there, you know, I, I, if I listen too much to the congratulations or I listen too much to the abuse, then God, my self esteem will be like, you know, on a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I just have to be separate from it. And, and it is lovely to hear, you know, nice positive opinions and upsetting to hear the negative ones. But I have to remember that I'm completely separate from that. And it's not really about me. Mm -hmm.